All logistics for the Bahamas to participate in this year's Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting are now complete. The operation conducted by the Bahamas High Commission Office in London entailed a strategic partnership with a myriad of agencies. In his first national interview since his appointment last year, Bahamas High Commissioner to London, His Excellency Alison Greenslade, explained the preparation process to our Altavis Munnings. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Commissioner. What's up, girl? Good to see you. Mm, pleasure. How are you? I'm good. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure to see it's you. It's good to see oh you, sir. Goodness. Since arriving to the Bahamas High Commission office on Chesterfield Street in London, High Commissioner His Excellency Ellison Greenstead and his three-member team have been very busy preparing for Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis's attendance at next week's Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. High Commissioner Greenslade and his team have been working with officials from the Commonwealth Secretariat, the United Kingdom Government, London Metropolitan Police and other organizations to execute their operation. We have a number of ministers coming from the Bahamas uh, who will also make meaningful contributions with colleagues and ministers from across the Commonwealth um, dealing with significant issues around governance, human rights, uh, issues around uh, the economy, trade and investments, this whole business of banking and de-risking correspondence banking, I'm sorry, and de-risking. And then you talk about um, the environmental issues, given all of the challenges we've had with major hurricanes in the region, and not just the region, across the planet. Climate change is a huge issue. It's on the agenda. I'm satisfied from why I sit as High Commissioner that we will receive our Prime Minister and his delegation upon arrival uh, in the next uh, few days, and I can give him a very positive report. Um, everything has been properly planned. Uh, we believe those plans by Her Majesty's government will be executed, um, um, certainly in the most distinguished way. And uh, this is going to be a very important and a very exciting time uh, here in London. The Bahamas is one of 53 Commonwealth countries being represented at next week's high-level meeting. And from where he sits, High Commissioner Greenslade boasts of the tremendous respect the Bahamas currently receives. Work around really helping our people all across the Commonwealth, and I dare say across the globe. Um, this Commonwealth advantage is you're going to hear about it over and over again. A significant Commonwealth advantage, a rediscovery of the Commonwealth, and it's something for us to be proud of. There's a feeling that in the presence of Her Majesty, certainly the use of Buckingham Palace, being able to access Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, and other signature landmarks here in, in the city of London, certainly in England, um, just adds a totally different um, ambience to, to everything else. High Commissioner Greenslade even acknowledged the importance this meeting will have on the Bahamas. This is a really uh, significant and important investment. That whole business that the Prime Minister and delegation is here gives us as the Bahamas the ability to continue to punch above our weight. Small little country with 400,000 people, just about, but I'm telling you, these are global issues and we have a significant say. The staff of the Bahamas High Commission Office in London has been preparing for the Bahamas' attendance at the 2018 Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting for over a year now. And High Commissioner Greenslade is very confident that the meeting will be very successful. Reporting from Bahamas House in London, I'm Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.